Later, Southern Africa officially relaunched in Johannesburg during a special fundraising dinner. The organization, which was once the largest Jewish youth movement in South Africa, closed in 2010 due to declining membership and budget cuts. Beta Southern Africa alumni and other interested members of the South African Jewish and Israeli communities arrived in high spirits for the relaunch event. The function in the colorfully decorated venue also doubled as a reunion for former Beitaris. We're relaunching basically because there's been a big gap in the community. We have once we, we've got one secular uh, youth organization and there's a lack of, there's a religious one but we need more of a political one at the moment. I joined Beitar South Africa because I'm a passionate Zionist and I want to instill my, my values and morals which I've learned from Beitar and my, and my Zionistic opinions into the rest of the youth of South Africa. Currently, Beta Southern Africa has only 20 student volunteer members. The students and a number of Beitari alumni are working on reviving the movement in South Africa. The youth in our close-knit Jewish community feels very close to their roots and they feel the need to stand up for what they believe in and that is exactly what Beitar's ideology is, tenacity, and they feel a closeness to the, to the Beitar ideology. We also see young people throughout the Jewish world as being critically important, and youth movements give a sense of Jewish identity and a love of Israel. I myself am a graduate of a youth movement in Britain. I grew up in Britain. I ended up moving to Israel. I met my wife, an Israeli, through our youth movement. So youth movements are really, really valuable, and the government recognizes that as the future of the Jewish people and the future of, their, of, of Israel throughout the world. I put a flagpole in my yard and on that flagpole I put the old South African flag and the AWB flag. Guests were entertained by a well-known South African comedian. Being a fundraising dinner in support of Beta Southern Africa's future activities, guests were also asked to make financial pledges. Sport and Baitari memorabilia were also auctioned off. This time what World Beitar did to ensure financial stability was to send the shaliach over to South Africa in order to make sure that the programming of Beitar will exist for a few years. That's what they're also doing worldwide to develop themselves with more branches across the world. Beitar Southern Africa's main target membership, school-going Jewish children, was not at the event. But it seems there is a lot of enthusiasm on their behalf about joining Beitar. Um, School-going children, especially my children, will definitely think Beitar is relevant and they would love to join. Uh, considering my experiences there, um, it's a family away from home. They get to do fun activities with kids their own age and younger and older. They get to meet a whole new uh, community and learn about Israel, which is obviously very important, and where they come from. So I, I would think that they would find that extremely relevant. And of course it's fun. According to the adults in attendance, Beta Southern Africa is back, but it remains to be seen how many South African Jewish youngsters will agree with their elders' sentiments and financial contributions. I'm Marisa de Klerk in Johannesburg for JN1.